In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to set up your GT system. So when you receive your system, this is what you're going to see in your box. You're going to have your GT power station, your work stand, your power adapter, the AC power cable for your geographic region. You're going to have your handpiece here with your cartridge removal pad. You will have your heater and your retainers. The cartridge retainer, when inserted into your uh, handpiece, you'll be able to use cartridges. We're not going to use it for now, so let's put it over to the side. And we're going to have your tip retainer for your tips. So, first step is to remove your heater here. We're going to insert it into the handpiece. Now I'm going to select a T4 chisel tip, and remember these are sold separately. I'm going to put it on top of the heater, and have the tip retainer here. We're going to screw it in, and a couple things to consider is to make sure that it's only hand tightened. Don't use tools, and make sure you do not over torque it. So. The handpiece is ready now. I'm going to discuss this beautiful work stand here. That we have a sponge, of course. We have a brass pad in this location. And I'm going to show you how to replace it. You're going to press the button down. The top carriage slides out. You're going to replace your brass pad here when it's worn out. And slide it in by pressing in the button. And again, that is complete. So we're going to grab now the handpiece, place it into the work stand cradle. I'm going to use this uh, fancy DIN connector, plug it into the power station. And so this setup is complete. Now we're going to have our power adapter with the other connector. Plug it in. We're going to plug it in on the rear of the power station. Press it in, and you're going to hear a click. Now that is connected. Grab your AC power cable adapter. Plug it in to the adapter. Of course, the plug goes into your outlet. All right, so the unit now was on the on select but this is where your power switch is so we're just gonna turn it on again you can see that the unit is heating up to 350 C which is the default temperature out of the box and so we're gonna test if it's hot I have this soldering wire here See, let's add some solder wire. You see it smoke. Great. Now you know that it's hot and your power station assembly is good to go.